So first thing you want to do is go into render properties and then switch from cycles to workbench and under lighting you want to select matte cap and then the normal looking matte cap and once that is done uh, you want to split up the viewport and do the same thing under viewport shading so we're going to select matte cap and then normal matte cap and once that is all done we're going to add in a camera and if you hit alt r that's going to reset the rotation and under like the like output settings we could set that to 1024 to 1024 and the percentage at 100 so once we got all that all set up uh, we could go into object data and then set the perspective to orthographic and also in orthographic scale set that to two and once that is all done on like uh, the right side we could go into camera view and add in a plane and as you can see the plane is now aligned with the camera so when you're ready to export the textures uh, it's gonna be all measured and uh, up to resolution scale so the way I normally like to go about like uh, working with the setup is uh, to make uh, trim sheets and normal maps and uh, work off of those normal maps into a different program but for now I'm going to be showing you how to at least like make a quick wood flooring just by modeling out the normal map texture so I add a couple slices into like this plane and hit V to separate and also I'll add slices in between these panelings you can move them however which way you want if you want them to be a little bit random that should be okay and then select all of these and hit V to separate them also and once that is done uh, you can select all and then hit E to extrude and you can see right now that it's not showing up in the viewport so if we just add bevel and then kind of adjust the scaling it should be okay the thing about like like normal maps in a general sense and I might be wrong on this is that it kind of reads from a XY perspective instead of a Z so like uh, if you add in a cylinder that's just pointing straight up uh, it's not gonna read out the edges or anything so I got that done and I'm gonna probably delete this real quick and now I'm gonna be adding like little bolts to like the flooring so like uh, Add in a circle and then set to end gone. And I'm just gonna be positioning these like uh, to the corners of the flooring and go into edit mode. Oop, wrong one. Okay. And as you can see, it's a little bit tedious, but like uh, this helps out on the long run, especially if you want to get like a normal map that's made fast. Kind of just position these onto it and hit extrude. And still, since it's reading from an XY perspective, uh, it's going to show up as flat on this one. So I'm going to go into here, add another bevel modifier. And now you see that they show up as bolts. This. this one and you can see right now like uh, it's already looking 
a lot better than normal. And I'll probably hit auto smooth for this one too. But yeah, aside from that, you can also work in layers when you're working with this. So like if you move it on Z axis, it's not gonna be, it's not gonna change at all. So like, uh, let's say if you have another set of uh, bolts right here, you could kind of move that over a bit. And let's say like this, another one like that. From here, like uh, you can see that like, hey, this is a definite way of working within layers in a 3D space. But aside from that, uh, I think uh, I explained all I needed to explain in this video. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, shout out to Jeremy Mitchell who actually like uh, showed me and everyone else how to do this on Twitter. So I was like, oh, okay, I'm gonna use this as like a new workflow method now. So again, shout out to Jeremy, and I might link his art station down below. And aside from that, thank you everyone for watching this video. 